number 34 of the 2005 State High School Basketball Championships. This is the Class 6A Boys State Championship game between the LaFleur Rattlers and the Auburn Tigers.
running an offense that's giving LaFleur all kind of headaches. A 3-2 zone now set up by the Tigers. Brian Campbell brought it down for the Rattlers. Feeds to the inside, easily kicks it back out. There's a shot from near the stripe. It rims out easily with his second rebound. Easily's on the board right now, Dave. Just two rebounds, but uh, basically uh, nobody, three, nobody's getting close. Shot up and no good. Easily gets the rebound back up, can't get it to fall. Finally, a dominating move by Hales for the Rattlers to pull that one down. Shot from the corner, three-point attempt. It's, it's good. good. And the Rattlers are on the board. That's good. Stephon Grove uh, put that one in and immediately pulls his team to within one. Auburn had a lot of flash in the very beginning, but that three-pointer has made it only a one-point advantage. Easily, very high up on top of the key. Gives it up there to Baker. Now around to Kurt. Kurt gives it out. Easily into the paint. Oh, oh, oh my move. Holy cow, the house fell with that one, Dave. Six to three, Auburn leading the number two team in the nation. Feet inside. They Good put it up. Great body work by Edwards. Yeah, I was thinking the basket. Yeah, no question. Harold Edwards is six seven, senior center, and again it's a one point ball game, Dave. Kurt across the timeline for the Tigers. Gives it up to Easley. All around, trying to find somebody open. It does. Shot up in the blocks. It's no good. Rebound the floor. Edwards pulls that one down. That time, an ill by shot by Baker. Along the baseline. Here's a jumper from the side. Andrew Hales, the senior forward, puts it in, and all of a sudden, flash dash of the floor is up. Seven to six, and we're just getting a little taste of uh, this Rattler juggernaut. Cannon controlling. Drives along the baseline. Put his shot up. It's off the rim. No good. Baker has it. Gave it to Easley. Right off his forehand and out of bounds. Easley was wide open for another slam. Yeah, Baker just got a little too fancy with yeah. that pass, I think. And may have put a little, little bit too much mustard yeah. on it. And boy, this first quarter screaming by 3.30 really to go. Holy Terrell, what a fast pace we've seen. And it has been wide open from the jump. As opposed to the girls game that started off a little slow. Three-point shot away. Off the rim, no good. Control there by the Tigers. Uh, Campbell got, excuse me, not, yeah, Campbell got run out. I'm sorry, Holloway got the, I'm sorry, I'll get it right. Nick Vincent Kurt got the rebound. Sorry, I'm sorry and Kurt that. across the timeline finally. He was getting trapped back there as Hollinger was keeping him tied up. Cannon goes back, gets the loose ball, feeds it in. And there's a foul coming in. No, it's a foul. It's a foul. It's a foul. It's took steps. Yeah. And Holloway. Good steps. Holloway shuffled the feet as he moved toward the basket. You're going to see some spectacular play in this game. On both today. sides. Well, the Rattlers slow it down just a bit now. As Hollinger gives across the way, Campbell has it, feeds inside, and there's going to be a travel yeah, ball. Yeah, say, yeah, he took Edwards was moving yeah. the feed again. No question. It's all about position, and when you're going up against a young man like Easley from Auburn, you got to have it. And sometimes going up against some opposition like that will cause you to shuffle the feet. Try to get that position. Kirk across the timeline again for the Tigers. Feeds it over to Baker. Baker drives the basket and gets Baker, it. Nice, uh, nice shot putting it right in. Up. A couple of uh, Rattlers there to try to slow him down. Eight to seven now with Edwards. the Auburn Tigers just narrowly in front. Edwards was there trying to get the defense but couldn't make it to stop. Edwards now controls the ball for the Rattlers across the way. He'll give it up there. Shot from the corner, no good. And again, a rebound controlled. That time by Hollinger for LaFleur. He has it, goes in the paint. Oh, oh and he's repainted oh, by Easley. Easley, what a force. Man, I don't know if I'd want to go in the paint against him today. It he would is be playing exceptionally well here in this first quarter. It would be a difficult task, no doubt about it. Rattler slowing it down. A buck 50 clock rolling here in the first period. Eight to seven, Auburn leading it. Three point shot. Not going to fall, and, and Easley has Easley the rebound. Got the board. Easley's got the board. And a correction, that is uh, Baker, I believe, yeah. and now it's out of bounds. Kurt couldn't handle the pass. Yeah, Brian Campbell missed the shot. Easley had it, and then it looked like uh, uh, Baker got a hand in it, too. Minute 34 to go. First period of play, 8-7. to seven. The Tigers leading the Rattlers. Hollinger ready to inbound, and does. 
camera will be very, very precise at this point, very careful as they basically may, maybe even play for the last shot of the quarter with a minute 26. I don't know. Surprise me. Let's see what happens here. It's now Hales had to finally give that one. Excuse me, that's Edwards had to finally give it up. Well, that's Hales, I'm sorry. Shot from the corner, three-point shot, no good. Nothing. Holloway has it for the Tigers, and they're back on offense with a minute to play here in the first. And the Auburn crowd is taunting on the floor with air ball, air ball, air ball cries. Holloway guarded closely there by Campbell and lost the ball out of bounds. Tried to pull the ball down. And I think he came with too much force and forced it up got away from it. Change now for LaFleur as Grove will take a seat and Mahan comes into the lineup number 23. Also Baker taking a seat for Auburn and that is going to bring in McQueen number 15. Rattlers with two rebounds on both ends offensively and defensively. Auburn with six defensive boards. That's the key there for the Tigers and two on offense. 46 seconds left in the quarter. Auburn up by one. Thought about taking a shot from the corner. Log pass. Open for the three. Decided to hold it down for just a moment. Yeah, they'll work it over into the corner again toward the top of the key. That's where Campbell is standing. Campbell in the paint. Puts it up. Over the tall oh, one. Good. Couldn't get it to fall. Rebound by LaFleur. Put back up. It's oh. it. And now we got bodies on the floor. It's going to be out to LaFleur. That was Cannon, I think, knock it out. So I think, uh, yeah, LaFleur will take it underneath. Another change coming up for the Tigers here. Reese coming in, number five. And that's going to give, uh, let's see, Holloway a chance to sit and catch his breath. And another Tiger change on the way. Smith comes into the lineup, number 20, and he will replace Cannon. And wholesale changes are about to come up for LaFleur. Four coming in now. We'll try to get those as they are. Something you couldn't out. have seen Davidson do in the other game. Let's see. You've got Campbell, Hollinger, Edwards, Haynes, and Mahaney in the lineup for LaFleur. Kirk almost got a steal there. Pulled out quickly. Let's see how the shot goes here. Is they'll work it on around to Mahaney. Mahaney almost sailed that one out of bounds. Nice recovery there by Blakes. Nine seconds to go. Long three-point shot. No Long good. short. Four seconds remaining. Drive to the paint. There's the whistle. A traveling call. Yeah, they're going to call it. Yeah. And that time, Blake's just lost his feet as he went inside. So Auburn will get the ball with the lead with 2.3 two seconds left in the quarter. Full court pressure. Cannon back into the ball game, giving Kirk a seat on the Auburn bench. What a wild first quarter here in Birmingham. Feet inside, two, two seconds, one second, stolen it's by the floor, and that's it. Blakes is there to get it, but couldn't do anything with it. End of the first quarter, Auburn eight, LaFleur seven, and again, like we said, Dave, anybody that thought Auburn would be intimidated by LaFleur definitely would have another thing coming. Uh, it's how impressive is Tony Easley on the inside here in the first Maybe, or maybe an NBA signing. We'll see what happens with that. Very well could be. Holloway brings it up for the Tigers. As Campbell will be on him defensively. Feet to the inside. Up and oh, pretty good. Play. Nice move on the inside there by McQueen to get Absolute the basket. McQueen puts it in. 10-7. to seven. Rattlers down by three now as Campbell will rotate around to the right side of the key. Auburn playing a 1-2-2 zone. Being very flexible. They'll break into the man-to-man -man when they get inside that three-point arc. Grove has it, now gives it up there to Hollinger. Hollinger's going to try to make something happen. He'll stop. Finally does have to give it up, almost tossing it out of bounds. And Auburn is showing some defense here. Yeah, definitely got it. Packing them in right now with that zone. Feed inside. Now back outside. Three-point shot on the way. Oh, and yeah, now. No good. And Auburn's got the bound. Cannon has it. He'll stop. Gives it up quickly now as Holloway Holloway's will run the it. offense. Holloway says, let's run this one. Off to the left side, goes Holloway. Foul by giving up, does, easily has it, easily dishes it out, three-pointer on the way from Cannon, it's no good. Oh, for easily, for there easily. There. what a play. 12 to seven, Tigers up by five. 
Auburn stunning this crowd here. LaFleur, a heavy favorite. Now the move comes in. Nice dish. Oh, nice move. But the rebound ball. goes to Easley. Guess so what? He is controlling It was a game. nice dish, but it didn't go in the hole. Six boards already in this game for him. The Tigers with 6-12 to go, up 12-7. to seven. And five-second rule, that time Baker got caught. Couldn't give it up, so LaFleur is showing they can show some defense as well. 6.09 to go in the first half. Auburn surprising up by five under the undefeated and number two in the nation ranked uh, LaFleur Rattlers. Amazing, they played no home games this yeah, year. None, not a single one. Wow. Clock near the six minute mark now. Hollinger gives it up into the corner. Driving through the paint and does, and nope, it's waved off. Foul's gonna be called. And let's see who'll get tagged with this one. Yeah, you could say LaFleur had trouble winning at home this year. I guess you're right. Cannon, I believe, got the, no, it's gonna be Holloway getting his, getting his first. Holloway's goal. first. And amazingly enough, only the second team foul. Three-pointer is off the mark, no good. Big rebound there for the Tigers. Hales missed that one, had a little too much mustard on it. Parker comes down with it, and up court quickly comes Holloway. Boy, Hollinger is all over him. I'm going to give him an Finally, he does give it up to, Mc to McQueen. Gets it back. Five and a half minutes to play. Holloway really trying to just get loose. Finally does give it up to McQueen. McQueen drives to the basket. Nice touch it. by McQueen. Uses the body. Just a junior, 14 to seven. Auburn doubling the floor right now. Thought about a three, pulls it back down. And now there's gonna be a shove on the inside and let's see if it's gonna be on McQueen. As, uh, let's see, that was Hales drove to the basket. It is McQueen, his first personal. Team foul number three for the Tigers. LaFleur has yet to commit a foul. Hard to imagine the way they've been going up and down the court. This is a true thoroughbred game here. Campbell gives it up into the corner. Gets it back. Thought about the three. Holds it down. Now feeds to the top of the key. Shot up. And it's good. Finally some points there by Edwards. Harold Edwards puts it in. It was, wasn't too far from being a three-pointer, but wasn't quite beyond the line. McQueen drives down to the paint and falls down. It's going to be a blocking foul. Block. And a good call there because at no point did uh, Edwards have his feet set. He right. moved the whole time. First team foul for the Rattlers. Tyler Cannon will take it out of bounds for the Tigers. Campbell has it, dishes it back out to Holloway. Holloway almost stumbled and lost the ball. Yeah, that's, I knew that was going to happen sooner or later. Hollinger, so tight defensively, gets called on that one. Yeah, so it took his hand off. So Cannon ready to inbound, it does. Holloway, Holloway goes up. And, will, and there's another blocking foul. Yeah, it's so going to call the block. Oh it looks my. like Holloway is... Looks like he may have landed on his hip, Dave. They have it, and Williams could not believe they made that call. Well, he's not, he doesn't want to come out of the game either. Maybe a knee lead, the way he was grabbing his leg for a moment there, but he was his trying to shake it off. Yeah. He's going to shoot. Chance to put the Tigers up by six here. Tillman's just a junior, and he makes it, and uh, now it's a 15-9 uh, to nine ball game. This game's gone, so by, uh, gone by so quickly. You rarely get a chance to look at the scoreboard. <laughs> Second shot hits the mark. 16-9, yeah. to nine, a seven-point lead. Campbell stops for a moment. He'll drive in, puts his shot up, Campbell. and it and finally it bounces doesn't out. fall in. Tips bounces around. Out. There's the battle. He got it back. Thought about the three. They'll move in. Slicing. Nice move that time by Mahaney to get it to fall. Mahaney made that one, and now it's a 16-11 uh, game. Just over four minutes to go before halftime. Like I say, Dave, you don't have much time to look at the scoreboard in a game like this. You really don't. Number one, the offense called by Holloway. Feeds it over to McQueen. And there's the foul. A little shove. That, no, they're going to call the foul on Auburn. Yeah, call it on Auburn. It'll be uh, LaFleur's ball. 
and of the nearly attired uh, Otis Hewley, the coach of the four Rattlers on the sideline. And, hey, I like the tie, Dave. Baker, yeah, nice tie. His Baker. tie, not yours. I understand. Baker, <laughs> Baker's one against the foul for the Tigers. And into the game now for Auburn. We'll see who that's going to be. He is Cooper, number 50. Four yes. minutes to play before halftime. 16 to 11. The Rattlers trying to put something together here and climb back into this game. Down by only five. In the quarter, Williams has it, gives it back now. Working it back around. Very it's slow, Campbell. methodical. Yeah. They're yeah. not going to run too much right here. Uh, trailing by five. Auburn adjusting very well defensively. There's oh, a pin, and now the foul. And yeah. the foul's going to be on LaFleur. Yeah, McCannon made the steal. Cannon with very quick hands gets in there. It might have been a good foul. I'm not sure anybody would have stopped Cannon from the steal from scoring on that. Hollinger gets his second. He'll sit down on the bench now. And he is replaced by Hales, number 21. Kirk back into the lineup for the Auburn Tigers. Kirk bringing it down, taking it across the center line. And now Campbell's got to work on the point guard for the Rattlers. Very tough man to man. There's an off-balance shot. Oh, if that would have gone, it been something else. Almost an over the back there by McQueen, but not a foul called. Drive into the paint. Turn around, Jay up. It's nice good. shot. Good touch. Edwards gets the pair for Harold the Harold Edwards, the senior center for LaFleur, cuts it to three, 16 to 13. Three minutes now to play before halftime. Kirk rotates to the right. Now drives in, gives it back up to Easley. Easily looks for somebody, finally does get it out there. Cannon holds it, gets it slapped away. He'll get it back. And Thank you. Now a foul's going to be foul. called. They called a foul, yeah. Mahaney it's gonna be gave on him Mahaney. a shove right as they got to the uh, midcourt strike. And it's, so Cannon will take it out of bounds. The Rattlers 6 of 22 from the field. Auburn 7 of 13. Only 27% from the field for LaFleur, while the Tigers are shooting 53.8%. Cannon controls. Correction, that's Baker. Cannon had it, and it went through his hands. Cannon looks a little miffed at Kirk. I'm not sure that he just took his eye off the ball, let it slide through. Yeah. You get a good look at McQueen. He's a young strapper. Campbell slowly up court for the Rattlers of LaFleur out of Mobile. Two and a half minutes to play before halftime. At the half, Jasper Livio will have all the numbers for us. And I bet his uh, pins are wearing out riding right now. Probably He's got to so. be tired. Mahaney gives it back up to Campbell. Campbell. Campbell backs it up and says, let's try it again. Yep, trying to break that defense. Auburn. In that zone has just created all kinds of headaches for LaFleur. Now a drive by Mahaney. Can't get it to fall. There's the foul. Got to call a foul, yeah. And let's see who they stick this one on. Mahaney will be going to the line. Looks like it's going to be on Cooper. His first personal, number five. Or is that six for Auburn? That's five. Five for Auburn. Both teams with five fouls apiece. Two more to give before their opponent goes into the bonus. Kind of surprised where they've been going back and forth. They had many more fouls called, though. Mahaney's first shot is up, and it's no good. Bounces off the iron. Checking in for the Tigers. Holloway coming back into the lineup. Uh, who's going to sit down now? It's going to be Kurt? Yeah, Kurt goes to the bench. So a little bit larger lineup now for the Tigers. Trying to get some height in there. Second shot away and good. good. Now here comes that full court pressure LaFleur is so famous for, and it's broken quickly by Auburn. As Holloway gets it across the line, feeds into the inside, shot up high off the glass, it's no good. Rebound fought for, finally controlled by Auburn. And I'm telling you, Holloway had to hustle for that one. Now bodies fly on the inside, it's gonna be off a LaFleur player. Either that was gonna be uh, Mahaney or Edwards that got a hand on it. Be that as it may, Auburn will take the ball out of bounds. With a two-point lead, a minute 51 to go in the quarter. Feed in, easy back oh, in there. Oh, impressive. Very nice work Burrell by Baker. Baker. Minute 45 to go. 
and an 18-14 four-point lead for Auburn. Now there's one in the paint. High oh. hook shot won't go down. And quickly, Holloway comes up with it for the Tigers. Holloway Aub getting across the line now as we're on minute 30. Auburn wanting to extend this four-point lead over the Rattlers. Nice feed, but it's going to be lost there as Cooper let it slide through his hands. Campbell. Fast break all the way down. Oh, and oh. it's rejected. Oh, and boy. more and shots are knocked to the floor. Underneath. Holy Toledo. Tim and Holloway came down. And I think he may have put his elbow in somebody's nose, perhaps. And Hales will go to the line to shoot. Holloway, the diminutive player on this Auburn team, as far as height is concerned, is really playing like a seven-footer in there. First shot's good. So and Hales it. makes him pay for that one. That's it to three. Easily back into the lineup now. A minute 17 to go. More changes in for the Tigers as Reese comes into the game for the first time tonight as Holloway goes to the Auburn bench. Second shots. So Hales now. Two from two for the strike. Full court pressure. Finally, they do give it up as Cannon controls. Drives in, and let's see who's going to get the foul on this one. Is it going to be Williams or Hales? Williams gets the tab on that one, and it's his second personal. Both teams with 16 fouls. And now McQueen goes to the line. Minute seven left. Chance to put the Tigers up by three here if he can hit it. That's and good. That's a three-point game now. Well, the Tigers came out on fire to start this game, and I think really took the Rattlers by a little bit of a surprise. But the Mobile team has settled down and played some very good basketball. Well, I tell you what, this is going to be another barn burner, I think, Dave. I mean, you got to be impressed with Auburn, their height, et cetera. I wonder how seven teams beat them. Hard to say. Rebound there controlled by Hales, and here come the Rattlers back down court. Hales, three-point shot. From the yes. parking lot's good. Big three-pointer is tied at 19. Oh, tie it up. Under a minute to play. And there's the foul coming up on Blakes for LaFleur. Didn't give Reese hardly any opportunity to get it up court. And he'll shoot the one-on-one -on -one here. I tell you, LaFleur, if they can find the fine line defensively, it'll be a much different ball game. But I here. just, I know Auburn's got all these inside weapons. I don't know how you stop them all, Dave. Blakes takes a seat now on the LaFleur bench as Browns comes in to the game for the first time, number 23. Actually, he's already been in the game. He had a rebound earlier. Reese uh, hit, sunk it. So uh, it's briefly tied. Now Auburn regains the lead. Really, that's Connery at number 11. I, have to do, I can't see his jersey from here. It's 10. Oh, it's 10, okay. It's Browder. That would be... He's proud of crowds. For another three, no. They'll move inside the arc. Pop back up from outside. It's no good. Rebound fought for. Controlled. Great job that time by Baker to muscle it away. Auburn's got the ball. We'll see if they play for one here to try to go in by four. Quick drive by Reese. Reese to the paint. It's good. And he and threw the foul. foul. Yeah, he threw the foul. Reese just went into the land of the Giants and goes to the glass and gets the basket. Will it be against Mayhem? Mayhem? Hales. It's against Hales, okay. Yeah, Hales, and that is going to be his first personal. And more importantly, that puts Auburn into the bonus. With 30 well, actually, point we're the to bonus go. a minute ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. The last foul. Push, no good. And coming over the back is going to be easily. Nope. Yes. Wait, let's see. It's either going to be easily or it looks like it might be Baker. It's going to easily. His first personal foul. And now LaFleur in the one and one. 29 seconds. To be Harold Edwards. Almost 30, 29. Senior 6'7", seven, senior. Nice shot of Harold as he looks in the bucket. Shots up. It is no good. Bounces off the rim. Rebounded by uh, McQueen. 
So the Tigers trying to work it back up court again. Oh, almost a turnover. There it is on the floor, and a good scoop that time. McQueen gets it and tried to feed it, and LaFleur picks it off. Down court, off the glass. No good. Oh, my goodness, what a rejection. Look at this. Bodies everywhere, and finally Bodies lost everywhere. out of bounds. And somebody lost their water bottle on the oh side there. Oh, my. Getting some wild action here in the final seconds of the first half. You talk about a highlight tape. This game is full of them. Kirk back into the lineup. Oh, as Holloway sits down for Auburn. And talk about a full crowd. It looks like they've opened up the upper deck here, Dave. It's a nice little crowd assembling in the uh, nosebleed section here at the uh, Birmingham Jefferson Convention Center. Good crowd. We would estimate somewhere in the range of about 6,000 people. This place holds 18. Three-point shot off the rim. No good. Under the board rebound. Let's see it's going to be out to Auburn. Thought for a moment there that McQueen had knocked it out of bounds. Yeah, I thought the same thing. But the Tigers will take it underneath with 1.5 to go. And it looks like they will go in uh, with a half time lead. Shot by Easley. Good oh! shot. Good. Soft touch by Easley. 25 to 19 at halftime as the number two ranked uh, the four team in a little bit of trouble here. That is the end of the first half. It's Auburn 25 with floor 19. We'll be right back with Jasper Livio in the first half stats in just a minute. It's the end of the first half, and of course, it's Auburn leading number two in the nation, right? LaFleur, 25 to 19. Uh, let's go to Jasper Livio and get the halftime stats. Thank you, Lee. In the first half for the LaFleur Rattlers, they had 10 rebounds. They turned the ball over three times. They were two of nine from the three-point line, and they were three of five from the free throw line. For the Auburn Tigers, they had 16 rebounds. They turned the ball over 10 times. They were 0-3 from the three-point line, and they were 5-7 from the free throw line. Individual scoring for the uh, LaFleur Rattlers. They're led by Andrew Hayes with seven points, Harold Edwards with six, and for the uh, Auburn Tigers, they're led by a couple of players. Uh, Tony Easley with six points, and Asim McQueen with five points. Lee, I tell you, Auburn's really quick, and uh, they've come out in a and tall. tall. Yeah, Easley's really made a, a difference in the first half with the rebounds that he's had so far, and they need to try to control him. And on the other side, uh, you know, they need to try to control uh, Andrew Hayes there for uh, LaFleur. But what a great uh, first half we've no had. No question about it. It's been a great first half. I think it'll be an even better second half. Again at halftime. Auburn 25 with floor 19 playing for the state 6A boys championship. We'll be right back with the second half in just a minute. Welcome back to Birmingham. The BJCC Arena. The road to the final four is on its final stop in class 6A. The Auburn Tigers who started so, so hot in the beginning of the game had LaFleur on their heels. The Rattlers have since regain their composure but do trail by six as we begin the second half action. Dave McDaniel along with Lee Davis, Jasper Levio and the entire Bright House Network's crew appreciate you watching our broadcast today. Hollinger already trying to work it in for LaFleur. Feeds on around the horn as Campbell now has it. Campbell goes into the corner and gets it back. Hales tries to set a pick for him. Now they get on around the horn. Feed inside. Nowhere to go. Three-point attempt on the way. It's going to hit the top and, and go out. It goes over the top, so automatic uh, turnover. So Campbell not going to get a chance to get that three-pointer back. Full court pressure by LaFleur. And they are clamping down. Yeah, a lot of Holloway has yeah, his turnover. pocket pick. Quickly inside is Mahaney. Gives and it up and scores. In. And uh, the pressure does what it was intended to do right off the bat, Jeff. I mean, Dave, create a turnover and a bucket for the LaFleur Rattlers. 25-21, Auburn leading it. And another pick and a basket. Oh, boy. And, and we've got a one-point, two-point game. Auburn needs a timeout right now. LaFleur is just starting to come to life now. In the first 55 seconds, that LaFleur defense has just put, just uh, overwhelmed Auburn with pressure. 
And if, uh, now if, the Tigers are going to have to adjust. If LaFleur has another pick for points, I dare say the right side of this Civic Center is going to explode. Second personal foul, by the way, now. I believe that one's going to be on Hales. It is. First team foul, second half for LaFleur. Auburn finally does inbound it, and Kirk has got his work cut it. out for him. Third time, the Tigers try to get it across the timeline. But intense and they pressure do. all over the floor by LaFleur. The Rattlers have come out on fire here. Feed into the corner. Cannon feeds it in. And McQueen gets a good basket. And that's one way to take a badge off the momentum. McQueen going inside for the bucket. 27-23 Auburn now. Hollinger will feed on over to Hales. Hales onto the corner where Campbell is standing in the wing. Auburn again in that zone. It created so much of a hassle for LaFleur in the first half. He says they're stepping out and running, and they're coming inside now is LaFleur. Hollinger gives it up to Mahaney. Mahaney along the baseline and loses it and out to the Tigers. Back. And and coach Healy is just furious just got about something, and I think the coach has earned himself a technical. I think he... Just received a T. We'll wait and see. He is bent. He is. He is bent. That's a good way to put it. No technical assist on that one. I thought I saw the official give the T sign. And there's a pass going out. And backcourt. Oh, yeah, the back. yeah, they're saying it went back. Yeah, so Auburn just Campbell had a foot on either side of the stripe when he got possession of it. So uh, Auburn will take the ball out of bounds at midcourt. 27-23, Auburn leading it, and Kirk controls. With a uh, precarious uh, four-point lead, but the lead nonetheless. Campbell giving him everything he's worth going down court. Kurt stops, gives it up to McQueen. McQueen feeds it back out to Kurt, And LaFleur with a stiff man-to-man -man defense. Kurt over to Easley. Thought about McQueen. No, gives it up to Baker. Baker now gives it up to McQueen. Nothing there. Cannon shot on the way. It's, it's good. good. It is good. Tyler Cannon puts it through, and the lead is six once again, ladies and gentlemen. 29-23. The Tigers lead the Rattlers in the 6A state championship. Feeds at the top of the key. Mahaney has it. Now gives it over in the corner, and I believe that is going to be Hollinger over there. No, it was Campbell. And the ball's and loose. I think it hit his foot, Dave. Quick, quick but move that time by Edwards to come up with it. LaFleur keeps it. Trying to feed inside over the big man. Nice easily. cut. Yeah, very nice as Hale gets a basket. The 6'5 senior puts in a nice one. And he puts it over the big 6'8 center for the Tigers. Good spin move by Cannon to get it across the timeline and then throws it out of bounds. Throws out of bounds, so uh, LaFleur will get it back. Williams coming into the game for LaFleur. Mobile fans saying, let's go Rattlers. Undefeated on the season. Ranked number two in the nation. It's the highest high school ranking in the state of Alabama in the championship history. I think you'd have to go back to the Charles Cleveland days at Bibb County to find a year a team was even close to that. Or Parker with Cap Brown. Yeah, Parker, absolutely Parker. Drive on the baseline, that, yeah. and there it is. It's out yeah. against the Rattlers as Hales went up against Easley. Yeah, Parker before that probably in the 1960s as well. That's one guy I'm going to tell you what we all miss here in the Birmingham no area, Cat Brown. I think about him every day. I really do. Tremendous basketball coach and better yet, a mentor of many great men. And a great friend of ours, too, as it turned out over the years. Absolutely. Kirk across midcourt. Gives it up. Three-point shot. Oh, off the rim. No good. Quick rebound there by the Williams. By Williams for the Rattlers. Gives it up now. As Hollinger feeds into the corner. Three-point shot on the way. Falls down, it's no good. Rebound off to LaFleur. Almost a disaster if Auburn had come up with that rebound. Drive to the basket, spin oh, move nice is spin there, move. and a charge. And they call the charge, absolutely. The, and Mahaney is upset. The bucket will not count, I assume. Say yeah, my hand, I'm going to correct that's, that. It's my hand. It's the second on my hand. Yeah. And LaFleur is going to take a timeout. 4-12 to go. 
third quarter, the Rattlers trailing Auburn 29 to 25. And you, got, and you got to wonder, Dave, before it came out like a house of fire to start the second half. It looked like Auburn momentarily was back on the heels, but they seem to have weathered the storm and have pulled the lead back out to four. So uh, once again, it looks like at least once here in the second half, uh, uh, Auburn has uh, momentarily uh, withstood a uh, fierce, fierce uh, LaFleur charge. McQueen leading the Tigers in scoring right now with seven on the court, and uh, Hales leading the Rattlers with nine. Neither team having a person in double digits right now. Auburn shooting 57% from the field, while the Rattlers a low 31%. Wow, it's hard to imagine uh, that they're shooting that poorly. Only, only my hand is shooting over 50%. He's right at the 50% mark. Trying to inbound it, trying to inbound it, and no! Yeah. That's that floor pressure again, Dave. And that time, Baker, very confused. Look, what do I do, what do I do? Give it up. High pass. Finally controlled out here by Mahan. 4-10 to go. Mahan trying to pass behind the back and lost it. Baker has it. Drives. Baker. Puts up the shot. No good. Off the rim. Ooh. This game could be a blowout in a hurry if somebody's not careful. Campbell thought about it. There's a three-point shot on the way. Rims out easily with a rebound for the Tigers. So both teams trading empty baskets as Kurt now will bring it up for the Tigers. Gives it off now to Baker. Baker to Easley. McQueen thought about taking the shot. Drives. Oh, nice oh, off nice balance. Couldn't get the ball. Rebound back to him. Up again. And Still no get good. The ball. Second, third shot. And he's fouled going up. Looked like they were and that was Easley, by the way, who was fouled. Yeah, it looked like they couldn't get as many shots they wanted, Dave. And it worked out because now they go to the free throw line. And that will be uh, Mr. Easley. Edwards up. will get his second personal foul. Team foul number four for LaFleur. Auburn has yet to commit a foul here in the second half. Four shots up, no, it's good. Well, with these four fouls, though, Lee, that is a product of very physical in-your-face play. No question. And LaFleur has had to really try to step their game up. Now down by five. If Easley hits this shot, they'll be up by six. On the Auburn bench. Catch the number of the player just went in. Uh, I believe that's going to be Miller, but I'll double check in just a second. It's up and good. And he nope. hits the ball. 31 25 now, 3.28 to go in the third quarter. It's going to be Smith coming in for the Tigers. Number 20, 31 25 now. Auburn leading here in the second half. Third quarter action, three and a half minutes to play. I believe we've also, yep, Williams into the game now for LaFleur. Hollinger, Edwards, Williams, and Mahan on the floor for the Rattlers. Kirk, Smith, Baker, Cannon, Easley on the floor for the Tigers. Near the three-minute mark here in the near corner. That's where Mahan has it all the way across court. Hollinger shot. Thought about it. Nope. Pulls it back down. Backs it out. Now feeds into the corner. Trying to make something happen here. Coach Hulley's got his coat off, Dave, and it's good. Edwards gets the basket. Three-point line. Uh, Chuck, cuts. 31 20 27. Kirk has got his work cut out for him because Hollinger has played some tough defense tonight. Hollinger right there with him, step for step now. As Smith has possession for the Tigers, gives it up there to Cannon, excuse me, Baker. Now there's Cannon, number 33. And all over him is Campbell. Finally, Kirk has it. Two and a half minutes to go here in the third. Kirk drives in, gives him a little shove. No foul call there. Smith's going to have to go to work. Oh, and there's the foul. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, man, my hand, for the moment, wanted to complain. It's just, no, that's okay. No, Shakes it off and yeah, goes down sure court. Did. So, anyway, LaFleur uh, got another opportunity here. And that, I believe, is the third foul. Uh, no, they're calling that one on Auburn. They're going to call Yeah, yeah, foul. LaFleur got the ball. Yeah, okay. so they the call, the call one against Auburn. Got to wake up here. Smith, his first personal. On the baseline. High shot. Won't fall in there. As Cannon brings it up now. Gives it back off to Kirk. Under two minutes to play here in the third. Smith looking. Try to get a pick and does get it. 
will rotate around into the paint, puts the shot up off balance. No good. Big rebound, back up, and that is it's Campbell. No, correction. I that think is, it was uh, Baker. Baker. It was Baker. Darrell Baker got the put back, got the garbage bucket, and Auburn's up by six now. Largest lead of the night for the Tigers. And what a story this would be if LaFleur would come to the brink of the championship where they've been before. Remember last year they lost that unbelievable finish in the semifinals against John, John Carroll. Carroll. So they've been here before. But what about the Auburn Tigers? Brides made three different times. Yep. Weaving in and out of traffic. Oh, man. There's the basket about to be put up under there. And let's see where they're going to call this one. Is it Easley or who? Oh, looks like it may be on uh, Baker. Let's wait and see. It's Campbell. It's Campbell. Call, Cannon. Call. Cannon, yeah. Cannon, rather. I'm sorry. Cannon. Cannon. My bad, Cannon, yeah. Okay, to the line goes Harold Edwards for shot up and good. And this is where LaFleur has to make the Tigers pay for it. 33-28, minute 17 to go in the third period. Blake's back into the ball game for LaFleur, replacing Campbell. The Rattlers field goal percentage now down to 30%. Misses the second one easily with the rebound for Auburn. Finally, Kirk gets it away from him as uh, <laughs> Mahan was all over easily. Kirk, quick pass. Smith, jump shot. Rims out, no good. Garbage basket up. And good for Cannon. Cannon uh, right underneath. Perfect positioning, making the bucket, and it's a seven-point margin as we're inside the one-minute mark, Dave. 35-28. The Tigers leading. And they have led this entire game, Lee. Yes, and they have. There may have been a, a time in the first quarter. Uh, yeah, the floor briefly, had but pretty much it's been wire to wire. Edwards so gives far. it up across the way to Mahan. Mahan feeds to the inside, gives it back to Edwards. To the top of the key. Now on the round to the corner where Mahan gets it inside. Feeds to Williams. Williams turn oh, around hook, jumper. No, no good. good. Bodies again flying around. Who comes up with it? Auburn does. Quickly, Cannon has it. Down court. Feeds. An easy oh, slam for Easley. Easy slam dunk Bill. And this Auburn crowd is going beside itself. You, a, think, you a, think Cornell Williams was here. They're getting so excited. A nine-point Auburn lead, 30-28. Eight seconds to go. Try quickly by Blake. He'll give it up. Three seconds. Three-point shot on the way. No good. no good. And you know, that shot is... Pretty much summing it up for LaFleur in this game. Close but no cigar. Yeah, the Rattlers look just the least bit rattled right now. Point six seconds to go. They're just going to let it bounce. Takes a long shot. It's got a chance. Oh, my God. Whoa. Talk about something that would have brought the house down. If this and Kirk could have connected on that one, this place would have gone nuts. That's the end of the third quarter and an upset again in the making at the Birmingham Jefferson Convention Center. Auburn 37. La Flora, 28. The final eight minutes. Does Cinderella wear a crown? Or does the undefeated number two rank La Flora Rattlers come back to snatch victory? Number two in the nation, we might add. Not number two in the state. But Auburn looking very much like the number one team in the state right now, or the nation. Kirk calls the number two offense for the Tigers. Gives it up quickly there to Baker. Baker on around to Cannon. Cannon lost it after getting it swatted out of his hands. Now they feed it on around to Baker again. And LaFleur, very, very tight defensively, man to man, as Hales is all over him, and there's the foul. Yeah. That's the fourth foul. Fourth foul. On Hales. Hale. And I'll tell you what, LaFleur does have a pretty good bench, but these first four, these first five, rather, very strong. Yes, they are. For the Rattlers. Kirk will take it down now for Auburn as they have a nine-point lead. And who would have thunk this, Dave? Kirk backs it out. Looks for an open man. And right oh, there he is. Play. Holy Smith Toledo. all by himself under the basket. Well, Norris Smith gets the bucket. And it's an 11-point double-digit lead for the Tigers as LaFleur may be headed to its first defeat of the season. A long time to go in this game, though. Seven minutes to play. They'll need some threes to get back in this one. And they there's need to make some shots. File. I'm not sure Easley should have done that, but he did reach right over the top of Edwards in the paint. 
Right now, they just need to make some shots, Dave. Kind of feel like Easley was out of position. And that's the third one on Easley. Third on Easley. Huge yeah, on the yeah, inside no for kidding. Auburn. Well, still seven minutes to go, though. But, yeah, that's something to think about for sure. Easley did come out for a period in the second quarter. So Auburn can function without that big 6'8 youngster in the center. Boy, Williams all over it. Finally, they get it out to the outside where Hollinger controls for the Rattlers. Correction, that is Campbell. Mahan trying to work around and does. Finally gives it back up into the corner. Feet inside. There's a shove, but the basket does count. Puts it in. Edwards gives a little yeah. shoulder into Easley's midsection. Yeah, Edwards might have gotten away with something there. Nevertheless, it's a nine-point game now. That it is. Smith says, come on, let's move this ball up. And they do. They break the press. So Smith's going to stop now. At six and a half minutes to go in the game. And the Tigers holding a nine-point advantage. Cannon around. Turn, shoot, drop. Got him. Bottom. Stop Tyler it. Pop. Cannon hits a big one. 41 to 30 and 11 point balls now for the Auburn Tigers. Well, Auburn trying to keep this lead extended here at least by nine. But there's still some fight in these Rattlers. They're not going to give up that easy. No, Campbell now. You don't go 34 0 by quitting. That's it. Hollinger outside the arc. Gives it up. My hand thought about the three. He'll take the three. It's going to come up just short and rebound. For the Tigers by Kirk. Uh, Auburn with the ball and the lead. 538 in the ball game. Easily has it. Stops here at the top of the key, gives it up. Cannon shot. Hey, oh bottom, my goodness, bottom. he's on fire. Cannon. Cannon's now. red hot. 13 now. 10 points. Well, for needs Cannon. A timeout. And Bam. you can sense the Auburn Tigers. Feel they have it wrapped up with a lot of time to play. Long Lane. way to go, but you can see the momentum is definitely blue and white right now as uh, as desperately LaFleur needs a timeout. And uh, they're going to have to get very, very aggressive here at the end to try to turn this thing around, Dave. But uh, right now, uh, you can see the Auburn crowd is uh, very, very excited as the uh, cheerleaders come out with their own brand of uh, somersaults. And uh, we can blame them. There's a lot to jump up and down about right now. Yep, they're in the lead so far. Do Auburn High School folks yell War Eagle? Or is that just Auburn so. University? I think that's the university. Okay, only. wasn't sure if they had a patent on that or not. Let's give you a quick scoring rundown. Cannon and Easley both with 10 to lead the Tigers. Meanwhile, Edwards for LaFleur, the only player in double figures with 11. Neither, player, neither team right now with a double-double. Easley needs one rebound to have 10 boards. And is not LaFleur only shooting about 30% for the game? Last time we checked, it was down to about 30%. We'll wait for these new stats to roll back over in just a moment. Wow, uh, Offensive wow. rebounds, nine for the Tigers, and the Rattlers have 10 defensive rebounds. Here's the key. Auburn with 20 defensive rebounds. The Rattlers with only eight. It's wow. scoring 30% from the field for the Rattlers yeah. and a cool 54% for the Tigers. I don't care if you're 34 and 0 or 104 and 0. If you can't uh, effectively shoot and you can't get rebounds, it's tough to beat anybody. Another 77% from the strike for Auburn has been a big key here as well. 5-14 to go. LaFleur facing a possible loss the first of the season if they can't get back from this deficit. Quick drive into the paint. High up and good. He put it in. Campbell made that one count in a timeout for the Rattlers. And boy, what a dirty look. I would not want to have Otis Healy mad at me. He gave an official a look reminiscent of the Sonny Liston stare Ooh. of the 1960s. And that official was going to come up and say, hey, Coach, you gave me a really dirty look. I didn't appreciate that. Coach Healy is uh, having a rather uh, animated exchange with the official, the officiating crew, as we mentioned uh, early on, was uh, Stan Dixon, Shelby Tuck, and Mike Latham. And uh, the exchange ends very shortly. And I think uh, the official was making it clear that he wasn't going to take any guff. I think it was a warning. After We're about to see a team come Jasper up Jasper right Levio, our official, uh, believes uh, forewarned is forearmed. Uh, Coach Hewley has been warned. Uh, Coach, uh, you're on very thin ice right now. You're very close to getting a technical here. Coach Frank Talbert, of course, on the sidelines with his Auburn Tigers. What an inspirational story he is. Absolutely. Feed in, and Williams will control right now. Correction as Smith. For Auburn. 
across the timeline under five minutes ago. Oh, gets almost a turnover back opportunity there, but did Would not have been big. And that, see, that's that pressure. Oh, backcourt. Oh, backcourt. Backcourt. It will go back. LaFleur will take it now. Again, that tough man-to-man -man that LaFleur plays lends itself to your competitors losing the ball. We're down to 4.49 to go. 43-32. Auburn stunningly out front, but uh, it has not been an upset. They have been the dominant team today. For Long sure. three-pointer, no good. Oh, and easily with a rebound, he is being harassed easily greatly. And now it down. turns it over. Kurt had it squeezed out of his hands by hand. In the paint, his shot up, won't fall. Quickly guarded there and captured by, let's see. That was Hollinger, and it's out to LaFleur. Well, you can tell the tempo of this game's picked up. Yeah, well, it was pretty high to begin with, but it's sweet. Smith goes out of the game. That's going to bring in uh, Holloway for the Tigers. And with 426, LaFleur's got time basically for one serious run. Well, let's see if they can make it happen here at four and a half minute mark. Campbell now 43 with the ball, 32. Working deliberately. Mahan has it now, feeds across the way. Log three pointer, no good. And Kurt with the rebound, and he goes to the floor, jump ball in favor of LaFleur. LaFleur get it. Well, I tell you what, the Rattlers are getting some breaks right here. Yes, they are, but they need to convert them. And uh, the Auburn crowd, the pro Auburn crowd did not like that. Good job by uh, Campbell to get back, get that one. Four minutes now to play here at the Birmingham Jefferson Convention Center. The Class 6A state championship, three-pointer, off, no good. And a quick rebound they there need by to Baker. Hit those, but they haven't hit them all day. Only shooting 30 something. Holloway percent. feeds three pointer from Cannon. He's dead. Oh, oh my goodness! Holloway drains it. I mean, assuming that was Cannon that drained it. It was 13 that was points Tyler for Cannon. Cannon. Drained it, and uh, that's going to make it a tough hill to climb now. And 14. there's going to be a foul right there. Cannon's going to get flagged as Edwards put a spin move on him in the paint to try to get a basket. 13 points. Holy for Cannon. cow! Cannon. Oh boy. Cannon has hit his last four shots in a row. And you don't want to say that it's over when there's still 340 to go, but that was an awfully big one psychologically and otherwise. Dave. Rattlers down to 28.9% shooting from the field. Wow. Oh, my. And from three point, well, I'll wait for the stats to roll back over. We go from rebounds of defensive to offensive stats. I'll give you the uh, three-point average for the time. But either way, Dave, second. close enough to tell you what the, what the difference has been today. Three-point shooting, 25% cannon at 33%. Anytime you shoot 30% or higher from the three-point line, you're doing pretty good. I think so. All right. Campbell going to try a three. Can't get Campbell, it to fall. Has, and there's uh, Edwards under the basket. Can't, can't get that one to fall. The floor can't buy it back, back. right now. Goes up and he's flat by it. Easily. Bees easily. My goodness. Now the little man goes in the paint. Can't get it to the fall. The floor cannot Rebound buy a bucket still right fought now. for it. They get it back. Thought about the three. Drives in. Dishes it off. Nice move. Little behind the back spin. Whoa. Won't go in. And I believe that one session of passes has been what the game has been about. And, and, and if you notice, Healy, you got to wonder if there's some kind of invisible uh, uh, cover over the basket. And LaFleur just cannot put the ball in the hole. Can't get them to drop. That's for certain. Finally, Holloway gets it across the timeline. Gives it up to Kirk. Or does he? Yeah. Kirk has it, harassed in the corner, and wide open. Right there is Holloway, dishes it off. Pretty Guess close. who? No, it's Baker that gets it here. Another pair Dar now. Darrell Baker puts it in. And 48 is 32. With 250 to go, and it's going to take all kind of something. Drive to the floor to uh, control uh, by LaFleur, who finally has it now. As Grove comes up, dishes off, three-pointer, it misses. LaFleur gets it back. Oh, my. Campbell. Goes to the corner, now gives it up. Long three-pointer, it's no good. Cannon with a rebound, and here he comes down court for the Tigers. Cannon weaves through traffic. What, nice a pass, what a pass. Oh, and then it gets rejected. And he got a little too fancy. And, and a three-pointer by oh, Cannon. Tyler Cannon drains it for three, 51 to 32. And Dave McDaniel, I think you can put the, uh, put the nail in this one. I oh, think this one is all over. Campbell misses oh. again. Cannon. And this place is going berserk. Cannon just unreal. Baker has it. Back to Kurt. Why not give it to Cannon? He hasn't missed yet. A minute 50 to go. 51-32. The Auburn Tigers about to pull the biggest upset of the year. 
over the number two Nash. Oh, intentional foul going to come here. And how ironic uh, that both the uh, in six a the girls team that went wire to wire number one and the boys team that went wire to wire number one are going down to defeat in the state tournament. Edwards gets popped with an intentional foul, and that's going to be a three shot foul. Three shot line. foul, yep. yeah, because of where it was, yeah. 141 to go, Auburn 51, LaFleur 32. And Otis Hewley can do little now except uh, the Auburn contingency much Hollow smaller than, six, than that of LaFleur. A 20, really starting to make a lot of noise a right now. 20-point lead, and who would have dreamed it? Now 21, thanks to the food free throws by Tillman Holloway. Well, with a buck 41 to go, unless they just start draining threes, well, they haven't drained, they haven't drained, drained anything, so I don't know why you'd think they would now. Three-point. Shooting 24% no. for the game. Nine percent from three-point land. Well, There's another basket by the Tigers. And guess who popped that one in? That was Holloway. And Absolute. with a buck 37 to go, Auburn leads it 55-32. Unbelievable, Dave. What an exhibition we've seen, particularly by the Auburn Tigers in this second half. Uh, the floor of the nation's number two ranked team, not only going down, but going down in a big, big way. 23-point margin with a minute 37 to go. And as the cliche goes, incredible. I think all you have to do is look at Campbell, who now has 16, excuse me, Cannon, who has 16 points and six boards, and now easily with that last rebound has his double-double, yeah. 10 points and 10 boards. And, you know, we think we think Auburn's a surprise here. Heck, nobody thought Auburn would beat Huffman in the first True. round game. And Huffman's a hoss out of the city of Birmingham. Yeah, and they were uh, they were humbled by the Tigers. As a matter of fact, the coach of the Auburn Tigers was saying, yeah, he was, he was that pretty, Huffman game, that Tarbert was the pretty papers bitter already about said it. we're going to lose. Yeah, Tarbert was pretty uh, outspoken and bitter about it. But obviously, uh, he had the last laugh, or he has it right now anyway. All right, a minute and a half to go before this one is over with. The outside, there's a three-point shot off the rim. No good. No surprise there. Shooting 9% from the, or now less than that from the three-point line. Yeah, try 6.7%. Ouch. Down to a uh, minute 14. Auburn just uh, got some fresh faces in the game, happy too, to, to talk about. So these kids can tell their grandchildren they played in the championship game. Turn around, jumper, up and good. Four. First point scored. And then young man is Craig Miller. Miller, a junior, getting doubtless the highlight of his basketball career. Spin move, up, it's no good. Tip in, it's no good. Love Guess who gets the Auburn a basket. McDade has it. He'll drive the lane. Get the basket. Oh my, this thing has just gone wide if open. The, if there was if this were a boxing match, the ref would have called it a TKO. It would have right. been a TKO a few minutes ago. 47.4 seconds to go. Auburn 59. A stunned LaFleur 32. And the folks in the loveliest village of Auburn, Alabama, as is as if they haven't had enough to celebrate lately. They're not only going to bring home a uh, SEC football title for their college team, they've got a state 6A championship for their high school basketball team. And nothing fluky about this. This in the second half has just turned into a good old trip to the woodshed. Wow. I, I still have to go back to Cannon's five straight shots. Two of the five were three-pointers. Absolutely. Just broke this thing oh. open. And uh, Cannon has got my vote for the MVP, I would have to tell you. I in fact, I, I had a vote, which I know. Let's give you the five starters for the Tigers right now as they stand. Kurt, McDade, Holloway, Baker, and Miller for LaFleur. It's Grove, Campbell, Hollinger, Hales, and Mahan. Nice of uh, Frank Talbert to let some youngsters get in that maybe haven't seen that much playing time. But, uh, yes, they, too, are part of this championship. And, and Talbert going down the line to each of his players, giving them a big old hug, a thank you. This is, uh, I've seen Lee, I've seen upsets in high school basketball league, but this may be the biggest. Just as far as the, the hype, uh, and obviously what LaFleur did on the court, unbelievable, 34 straight wins, uh, not playing a game at home, but it's uh, all come back to bite them today. Campbell weaving and runs into an Auburn player, that is Harris. And uh, William, Norris, William Norris, a uh, young 10th grader, uh, goes into the record book now. I think you've got to give the MVP of this game to Cannon. Yeah, I think so too. Three point. There's one. It's a two. They finally dropped. They dropped up. They finally got a bucket. It's the big thing. Uh, 
Harold Edwards uh, broke the drought. And I'll say this, uh, not a whole lot of quit as Coach uh, Coach Hewley takes a timeout. But uh, his, uh, his uh, LaFleur Rattlers are trailing by 24 with 35.7. So uh, you can go ahead and uh, cart up the trophy because it's going to go to Auburn, Alabama after a uh, two-year reign by the John Carroll Cavaliers. And uh, the Auburn cheerleaders are celebrating in front of us. Uh, they did some pretty nice uh, cartwheels themselves. Not bad. We have seen not only a great basketball game today, but quite a gymnastic show out as well. No question about it. It's uh, been something else. Hey, you get a good look at some of the Auburn fans enjoying what will soon be a Tiger victory. As our coach and I used to say, there's some members of the Auburn family. <laughs> Check out your eligibility. Eligibility. They need a quarterback with some mobility. 35.7 seconds to go. And Auburn trying to bring it up court. That's sport, I believe. Yep, he had it. Finally across the timeline, Gilmore. He'll try to fight through the press. Won't get it. Turnover. The Rattlers coming down court quickly. Edwards stops. Three-point shot on the way from Edwards, and he'll bounce it off the rim. No surprise there. Rebound by McDade. McDade will get it. You're right. And, and, and uh, I say no surprise. 14 just, seconds. That's so. the way this game has gone today for LaFleur. And the final seconds start to tick off. A little feed to the inside. No. Foul's going to be called. Traveling, actually. They saw Lacademic now, though, Dave, with a 24-point lead. Who would have dreamed it? And uh, when you see USA today, and it says that the number two ranked team was defeated for the state title by 24. A lot of folks around the country will think that's a misprint. And the final seconds roll off the clock. The Auburn Tigers have pulled a mammoth upset here in Birmingham for the 6A state championship. It's the Auburn Tigers 59, the LaFleur Rattlers, formerly ranked number two in the nation, 35. We'll be back in just a moment with a postgame show. Welcome back into the Birmingham Jefferson Civic Center where the Auburn Tigers have won the Class 6A Boys Basketball Championship with a 59 to 34 route of the previously undefeated and number two in the, in the nation ranked with four Rattlers, Jasper Levio. What can you say? Tyler Cannon, I just think, took over the second half. He sure did, Lee. In the first half, he only had two points, and he came strong in the second half to, to uh, to play his game and stuff. Let's go over the final stats. Uh, for the LaFleur Rattlers, they had 22 rebounds. They turned the ball over uh, five times. They were three of 23 from the uh, three-point shots, and they were four of seven from the uh, free throw line. For the Auburn Tigers, they had 32 rebounds. They turned the ball over 17 times. They were one of four from the uh, three-point shot and they were nine of 11 from the free throw line. Individual scoring for the LaFleur Rattlers. They're led by Harold Edwards with 13 points. Andrew Haynes had nine for the Rattlers. On the other side, the Auburn Tigers, they're led by uh, Tyler Cannon, who has 16 points. He only had two in the uh, second half. And Tony has 10 points. Baker and Way. Each have eight for the uh, Auburn Tigers with an impressive win. And Lee, I thought the inside game was the key with Tony Inslee going up against uh, Harold uh, Edwards for uh, LaFleur. Well, so, Baker was, in, was terrific too. Also yes, he, yes he was, but that was the key matchup outside. But what can you say about Tyler Cannon? Uh, Huffman and he did it against uh, LaFleur, so he He's a yeah. record recruit. Yeah, a lot of people didn't know what Auburn was doing here, but but they showed what they were doing here. No question about it, and, and you got to feel bad for LaFleur, but give Auburn credit. And, and I mean, LaFleur wound up shooting like 25% for the game, and you got to give, give Auburn de Auburn's defense a lot of credit for that. Well, again, a fantastic, uh, fantastic afternoon, particularly from Auburn. Congratulations to LaFleur for an incredible season, 34-1. and one, uh, but I uh, came up short today, of course, and uh, congratulations especially to the Auburn Tigers, the new Class 6A champs for boys basketball in the state of Alabama. Thank you so much for viewing. We'll see you later. For Jasper Levio and Dave McDaniel, I'm Lee Davis. Good night, everybody.